Hello everyone and welcome back to our course. In this project we're deploying an NFT smart contract with Python. Previously we installed the dependencies for Web3 Python in Colab. We built a smart contract for an NFT. We also compiled the contract with Python and now we're going to deploy the NFT contract with Python to a simple test Ethereum network. So we have the ABI and the bytecode for the contract. Next, we're going to create an instance of Web3 with a provider. You can use the Ethereum tester provider or a local provider or an HTTP provider. It depends on what blockchain you're running on. So in our case, we're going to use the Ethereum tester provider, which is a simple testing provider that has a lot of the setup already configured for you. So it's great for beginners and great for testing. So I'm going to instantiate Web3 with the Web3 class and pass in Web3.Ethereum tester provider as my provider. Again, you can also use a local provider or you can use an HTTP provider. So we can inspect the Web3 object to make sure that it works. Next, let's set a pre-funded account to be our sender of all transactions. So I'm going to take Web3.Eth.Default account and we can inspect it currently. Okay, currently it's an empty account, so we can set it to web3.eth.accounts at index zero. This is a pre-funded account that we can use on the Ethereum tester network or Ethereum test network. So I'm going to run this code cell and then check the default account again. Okay, now we actually have an address that we can use and this address is pre-funded for testing. Next up, we're going to instantiate our contract. So I'm going to create an NFT variable and use web3.eth.contract. Here I have to pass in the ABI for the contract as well as the bytecode for the contract. Then I can inspect the value of the variable and it should be a web3 data type of type contract because it's representing a smart contract which it can create with the contract ABI and the contract bytecode. Awesome, so now we have to submit a transaction so that we can deploy the contract onto the blockchain. Every time you perform a transaction, you can interact with the blockchain and smart contracts. So we're going to call our NFT contract and call its constructor, which means we are instantiating an object from the class or contract by calling the constructor. And this also deploys the contract, but for this to be official on the blockchain, we have to call transact. So we're not just calling a function, we're calling a function as a transaction, which means that we're paying for it to happen on the blockchain. And in this case, we're paying for it with test ether because we're using the test network. If you wanted to deploy on the mainnet, you would follow the same steps, but you would use your real ETH on your real account, not a test account. And the result of this will be the transaction hash, the details about the transaction. So we can inspect the variable of the transaction hash. Awesome. Okay, so just like that, we now have taken our NFT contract and we've deployed it to a test network. Okay, so we can verify that we have the contract. So we're going to wait for the transaction to be mined and then we can get the transaction receipt. So we can call web3.eth.wait for transaction receipt, passing in our transaction hash, which is the transaction for the deployment. The result will be a transaction receipt. So that will be ready when the transaction has been mined. So when the transaction has been added to a block on the blockchain. We can then inspect the value of the transaction receipt. So here we have a dictionary containing attributes, the block hash of the transaction, the block number, the contract address, gas used, gas price, from which address. Notice that this is going to be the address that we set to be our default account address. And as well, the gas used, the logs, and more information about that transaction, the transaction being the deployment. Then we can validate that we have our NFT. So we can create an NFT object with web3.eth.contract. We can instantiate a contract using an address being the transaction receipt.contract address. So this is just referring to 
this contract address property, which is unique to our NFT contract. We also need to pass in the ABI if we want to refer to the contract in Web3. So then we can, we can check the value of the NFT object. It should be a Web3 contract at a specific address because it's been deployed. Awesome. So this verifies that we have sent or deployed the contract to the blockchain and then we're able to reference it in Web3, which means we can now interact with this contract, this specific contract that exists on the blockchain. If you redeploy the contract, the old version still exists and the new version will be at a different contract address. So when you deploy a contract to the blockchain, you can't undeploy it. You can redeploy it, but that will be a second instance, a second object. So now that we have put our NFT onto the blockchain, join me in the next lecture. We'll learn how we can interact with the NFT contract in Python. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.